Hola, welcome to Amy's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making saltenas de queso. Saltenas de queso are um, an empanada. So I have we use seven eggs for this recipe. So I just took these out of the refrigerator and I ran some warm water into a bowl. I've been soaking them in this water while I get my other ingredients ready. That way the eggs come to room temperature. So in my mixing bowl, I have sifted flour, baking soda, baking powder, and some salt. And I've added two tablespoons of short. We're going to mix this together until it becomes a bit crumbly. We need to take four of our eggs we have here. We're going to crack these into our ingredients. Our dough for our saltinas or empanadas. An interesting story about saltinas. Saltina is actually, um, they're named after a city that's in Argentina. So um, there was a woman named Juana Manuela Goridi. And she was the first person that created it, it, the empanadas or saltinas. This woman was very, very poor, and she later married um, Presidente Manuel Isidoro Beltzu. Uh, Goridi was born in Salta, Argentina, and then she was exiled to Tarija, Bolivia, during the, the Juan Manuel de Rosa dictatorship. Uh, the Goridi family endured great poverty while, the, while they were living in Bolivia. So in order to make a living, she created this empanada out of the very few ingredients that she had within her home so that she could make a living. She went out and she sold these empanadas. She introduced them to the Bolivian culture. So they were a huge hit. All, all the people like them, she was able to redeem herself financially. It said that it was very common to say, Bay y recoge una empanada de la Saltania, which means go and pick up an empanada from the woman from Salta. So eventually, the Saltanias left the city of Tarija and empanadas became a, Bo a Bolivian tradition. All right, let's check and see how our dough is. So, what we're going to do with this, we're going to, you can just pinch off little, little balls of dough. This kind of varies. Um, say maybe the size of a golf ball. So you want to make them pretty consistent in size. So take and make your balls up like this. Until you have them all ready. We're going to go ahead and start on our filling now. These are uh, saltenas de queso. Queso, of course, is cheese. A little bit of queso fresco and some Monterey Jack cheese. So we have about eight ounces, which is two cups. And then those three eggs that we had left from earlier, we just want to use the egg whites in this recipe. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take your egg, you'll need two bowls, and you're going to crack it in half like this. And you're going to pour your yolk from side to side until you get all the white into the bowl. But you should definitely save these yolks. You don't want to waste them. Alright, that's good. Okay, and then you can take a fork. And you're going to whip, whip, whip these egg whites until they're they're light and frothy. And we're going to add those to our cheese. All right. Now that we've divided up our dough and, and shaped it into little balls, I ended up with about ten. Then I'm going to take my dough ball and my rolling pin. I'm going to smooth it out. Instead of a circle, it's best to roll it into an oval shape. Oh, and at this time also, I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So we've added our egg into our cheese, our queso, and then we're going to take the 
tablespoon, and this also, depending on the size of your dough, you're going to add one to two tablespoons of your cheese filling onto your, your piece of dough. I think that looks about right. You can kind of get a feel for it once you start filling them. So then I'm going to wrap the dough around the cheese filling. I'm going to take a fork and crimp the edges just like this so that it seals the empanada. Then I'm going to take that, um, take the egg whites that I've reserved over here. I'm gonna dip my pastry brush into the egg whites and I'm going to brush the outside of my dough with the egg whites, give it a nice gloss, put that on my baking sheet, then I'll finish up the rest, pop them into the oven. All right, so our uh, sultanias have uh, cooked for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on their size. You can gauge when they turn kind of a golden brown. And we have taken them out and sprinkled them with a little bit of powdered sugar. And we've cut up some fresh mango, but you could use whatever kind of fruit you'd like. And um, we're all set. Generally, uh, sultanias are served from seven until maybe as much as noon. Generally in Bolivia, they don't eat breakfast, but they'll have tea time or like an afternoon snack, usually between 10 and 12. And so this would be typically served. Enjoy. Are you looking for new places to go for your summer vacation? Try Bolivia or Paraguay. Paraguay has modern cities and vast expanses of wilderness. The capital of Paraguay, Asuncion, is the gateway to the Gran Chaco region. In downtown Asuncion, they have many shopping malls, international eateries, several plazas, and more. Attractions include the Metropolitan Cathedral, the Bonacol Garden and Zoo, and the Placillo de Lopez. If you want to hit a sandy beach, try San Bernardino. The following are historic sites in Paraguay and other locations that I highly recommend to sightsee while visiting Paraguay. If you're feeling adventurous, you can venture into the Amazon and stay in a jungle eco lodge. Discover the garden of Coco Bamba, go climb a dramatic Cordilla Real with its ice cap peaks, cordons, and hawks. Take a cruise on Lake Titicaca, the biggest high altitude body of water in the world. Mountain bike down Death Road, admire mountain scenery. A must see in Bolivia is the Salar de Yuani. They hold the world's highest salt flats, colorful mirror like lagoons, hot springs, and much more. Also, visit Sucre. It's the home to beautiful churches, monasteries, mansions, and whitewashed buildings. Just a friendly reminder before your vacation to Paraguay and Bolivia, in Paraguay, they speak Spanish and Guarani. Their currency is Guarani. In Bolivia, they speak Spanish, Quechua, and Amara. Their currency is Boliviano.
Tonight on E! Inside, we're... <laughs> I sound like an idiot. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> In Paraguay. Like, hey, oh no! <laughs> They sure know how to have a good time. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, see, I was oh. kind of <laughs> Traditional hat from Bolivia. My boo needs one. <laughs> Chosen as the best dressed group oh. up during the Olympic. Who we'll go for that? Opening. <laughs>